What if your entire life was represented by a single line? And what if I made a game about it? The Tree Jam 144, a competition where you have to create a game in under three hours. And this time, the theme was Lifeline. When you make a game in under three hours, you don't have the luxury to make mistakes. My first idea was to make a game about a heart monitor. So let's start off by adding a trail renderer to the player. And let's try to code a heartbeat based movement system. Hopefully it's gonna work out. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't look like a heart monitor just yet, but I mean, it's something. Okay, it looks much better now. Still doesn't look like a heart monitor though. Let's try this real quick. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? It's working now. I mean, of course it works. Let's add some juicy post-processing effects. Wow, it looks so good. I also made it so that you go from up to down, then up, down, up, down. I then added even more post-processing just because I can. It's dangerous to go alone, so I added a little friend. And another one. The more the better, right? Oh, and I found a new trick that I absolutely love. So by changing the hue shift value of the color grading components from post-processing effects, you can actually get this smooth color transition that looks so good. I love it. Okay, let's create a virus. I mean, why not? Okay, it's working, but it's quite impossible to dodge them all. Almost there, still too hard. Okay, it's perfect now. The viruses will only appear on the top side or on the bottom side, but never on the center. Only problem is, it's not infinite. Let's fix that. Okay, the level is now infinite and it gets faster and faster over time. I took a small lunch break and I came up with this idea of a BPM counter. Of course, I have no idea how this is working and I don't have time to figure out the math. So, I just made it decrease over time and increase by 30 every time you would have a heartbeat. And this is what it looks like after some balancing. If you go below 0 BPM, you die. And if you go higher than 300, you die as well. I then created a score system and added some sounds using BFXR. And this is what the score system looks like in game. What am I missing? Oh yeah, let's create some music. Using FL Studio. This was my first attempt. And this is the music I picked. It's time to create a game of a menu. Here it is in game. Finally, let's finish with a cute little tutorial. Well, I'm pretty sure the game is now done. Okay, you're ready? Look at this! It took me two hours. That's crazy. Time to publish it on itch.io. And here is the game. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more game dev videos, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.